In this video, we are continuing our final exam review and looking at a level curves conceptual question. And the example comes from our final practice problems, part two, and it's question number 11. And in this question, we have this function f's level curves. A few of them are drawn out. So we have the level curves when c is 400, when c is 500, when c is 600, and then when c is 700, that one in orange. And I'm gonna look at a couple of parts of this question. The first being part A, where we wanna estimate f of two comma three. So I wanna begin, as always, with these final exam review questions by giving you the chance to try it. So pause the video for one minute to try this question. Four, three, two, one, pause that video. Pause it for a minute to try this question. All right, so hopefully you've done that. Hopefully you've paused it for a minute to try this question. So if I draw where two comma three is on this level curve diagram, it would be here. So notice that two comma three, when I drew it in, is between the C equals 400 and C equals 500 level curves. So that means its output f of two comma three is gonna be something between 400 and 500. But since I need to estimate it, I should consider, well, which one is it closer to, the 400 one or the 500 one? So I can see from the picture, but that it is closer to the c equals 400 level curve. So. I'm ready to estimate. So I estimate, I estimate that f of two comma three equals, and it looks like it's pretty close to halfway, but just ever so slightly closer to the c equals 400 one. So I'm gonna estimate it something like 440, just a little bit under the halfway mark, which would have been 450. But it's an estimate, so a range of values may have been fine here. In fact, I might say uh, values between maybe 410 at the low end and 450 on the high end seem reasonable. So even if you got a slightly different value than me, even if you didn't get 440, that's okay. I think something between 410 and 450 seems pretty reasonable here. So the next part of this question I wanna look at is part E. And in that, I want you to estimate the partial of f with respect to the variable y at the point a. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and look at the picture. The partial of f with respect to y, the variable y, at the point a. So for this, I'm gonna ask you to pause the video one more time, but this time for two minutes to try this one. Four, three, two, one. Pause that video. Pause it for at least two minutes to try this part of the question. All right, so I want to uh, begin talking about this by giving a hint. And in the final practice problems, I actually list out this hint as well. But the hint is that the partial derivative of f with respect to y is the approximate change in the function f when x is fixed and we increase y by one unit. So another way to say that is when I take the partial derivative of f with respect to the variable y, this is an instantaneous rate of change. And we can approximate that with an average rate of change. So as the change in f, change in the output on top, over the change in y, that's the change in the input on the bottom. And only y is changing because when we do the partial derivative with respect to y, we keep x fixed. We assume x is constant. So specifically, the partial derivative is this, it's approximated by this average rate of change when we say that y is changing by one. 
All right, so in my picture, I need to estimate df dy, and it is approximately equal to the change in f over the change in y. And I'm assuming the change in y is 1. But how much is my function's output changing if I'm increasing y by one unit? So let's go to the picture for this. So in the picture, I'm starting where a is. I'm starting at point a, and I'm keeping x fixed, and then I'm increasing y by one unit. I'm increasing y by one unit. And that makes us end up here. And at that point, notice that that point is on the level curve where c equals 600. So at point A, we were on the level curve where c was 500, and we've now moved up to the level curve where c is 600. So going back to our work, the change in f is that final output, which was 600, minus the initial output, which was 500. And if I simplify this, we end up with just 100. And that's the estimate of my partial derivative with respect to y. It is approximately 100. What I want to end by commenting on is, notice that this value is positive. And the positive value means that as we increase y from that point, but we keep the x value fixed, that f also increases. If this was a negative value, we'd be saying that f was decreasing. So that in the context of our picture, that means that we are climbing higher. If we're moving in this direction and the outputs are getting bigger, that means our z coordinates are getting bigger. So we are climbing higher up. And I can see that from the level curve. If I start at the point A, I can think of the point A as me being at a height of C equals 500, maybe 500 feet. And if I travel to this blue point where C equals 600, I have now traveled to a point where the height is 600, so I've gained some elevation. So it makes sense that we're getting a positive value for that partial derivative in the y direction.